We've had some showers and thunderstorms, heavy rainfall in areas. In fact, around Santa Fe, we see the storm that's pulling away from Santa Fe right now along I-25. So around La Cienega and also in the areas around Santa Fe and Santa Fe, uh, El Dorado, Santa Fe, we got to be very careful because there is likely some high flows on the ditches, the arroyos. Keep clear of those, the water covered roadways. And this could try to migrate to the southwest. You see a little outflow here that's developed that light green line that could spark some more showers and storms as it works toward the Albuquerque metro area. Lots of moisture feeding in the state from the south. That's a monsoon flow. Boy, it's been a while, right? About time. And this monsoon making a comeback is going to be with us for the next couple of days. Scattered showers and storms, pockets of heavy rain possible. And I do think that embedded in all of this monsoon moisture, we're going to see a disturbance that will keep things going overnight across western parts of the state. Could be pockets of heavy rain. Gallup into the Gila. Grants also down towards Silver City. We'll have to watch for the pockets of heavy rain. Waves of showers and perhaps some thunderstorms around Albuquerque as we go through the day on your side. Sunday as well. And the seven day forecast, look at this, only 78 in Albuquerque for a high tomorrow with lots of clouds, a chance of showers and thunderstorms. I do think across the eastern areas, it's going to be drier. The central and western areas will have that best chance of rain. Another day with showers and storms around on Monday and then things warm back up and dry out. But that 78 tomorrow with a good chance of some rain around looks pretty nice. It's been feeling really nice, actually. Oh, it's coming. Cool Fall is coming. Very, Finally, very close. It's about yes, time. I know.